Happy Thursday, Calvary. You know, one of the things I loved when my kids were babies was listening to them babble. It was the sound of developing speech, and most of the time it's pretty cute. It's a true blessing when your babies are babbling away. However, when they get older, the hope is that they stop babbling and they have clear speech. In his letter to Timothy, Paul warns twice to avoid babbling. In 1 Timothy 6.20, he writes, O Timothy, guard the deposit that's entrusted to you. Avoid the irreverent babble and contradictions of what is falsely called knowledge. And he repeats this direction in 2 Timothy 2.16. Now, Paul isn't worried about the vocalization of infants. No, he is worried about false teaching. He's worried that Timothy and his church would give a foothold to false teaching. At Timothy's church, there had been teachers who had turned away from the gospel. They were leading people astray and were claiming that they had some special knowledge. Paul encouraged Timothy to resist this type of teaching, or as Paul called it, irreverent babble. It is an important encouragement for us too. We live in a day and age when all types of knowledge can quickly be presented to the whole world in a matter of seconds through television, podcasts, and social media. With the availability of all types of babble at our fingertips, we have to be very discerning. Paul tells Timothy to remember the gospel as originally presented to him. He tells Timothy to work hard at understanding and following the Bible. It's great advice for us too. Read the Bible. Get as much of the Bible in your mind and heart as possible. Memorize it. Meditate on it. Come back to those meaningful passages often and review them. Study the Bible. There are many great resources available. A good study Bible like the ESV Study Bible or the Life Application Study Bible will help you as you dive deep to understand those tougher passages. Listen to trusted Bible teachers. There are just as many resources to hear good, solid teaching through various technology as there are to hear those false teachers, those babbling teachers. So find the ones that are good and listen to them. They should be teachers who simply and clearly base their teaching on the Word of God. I hope this provides you with some helpful tips to follow Paul's direction and avoid irreverent babble. Have a great day.